okay? What, what, what just happened? Did you have a stroke? I, 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 um, I, what, remember those? Did uh, your heart stop beating? What happened just now? So those are very strange. The glitches? Remember on, uh, you watch on the internet when you're like, Beyonce is like, I just had one of them. It, it means I'm a, I'm a lizard. Hello. This is ridiculous. <laughs> How you been, bro? I'm good. You're dressed all oh, snazzy. Yeah, I'm all back. Oh, spank, bro. Well, You're the only ridiculous. person I know that gets dressed up for phone sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do realize how it works, right? Sometimes just feeling good makes you hard. What? Uh, okay, we're going to skip this subject. <laughs> What's beautiful is how he got stuck in the snow over God phone damn, sex. Bro, it, 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 was, it was one week ago I, today. I need to find a way to... Put that in my stand-up routine, it, it, but I don't know how to make it funny as a stand-up thing. But as a sketch, it's amazing. Well, I could tell you the um, what happened uh, from the moment we said, "All right, see you later, intellectuals out." All right, we all took the elevator downstairs. Yeah, we. Uh, hey, Pasad, while he's talking, do you want to lift the mic a bit? Towards, we we, we, we chatted a little bit. Uh, we said, "All right, see you later." He left. You left. All right, see you later. And I'm talking to my uh, Guma. <laughs> my guma on the on the phone talking in quotes <laughs> now if you recall you said guido why don't you come around and uh park in the garage earlier yeah and then you decided not and i to said no, no no i found a spot on the street yeah but it was one of those not back in spots it was a forward in spot there's no such thing yeah all right uh now but- you're talking like a <laughs> <laughs> Long Use story your imagination short. on that one. Long story short, while I was on the phone, <laughs> while I'm talking, bro. I'm getting in the car, starting the car. Instead of, like, backing out and driving out of the spot, mm. I decided to just drive forward, and it didn't occur to me that I had Mount Everest in front of me. And that is what happened. And um, I was And did stuck. you go over it, or were you stuck? I was it? over it. Uh, you may as well have just uh, uh, tapped on my car with your right hand, and it was going to spin <laughs> on, like a top. Um, an Algerian guy stopped and tried to help me. Tried, and uh, he was—he uh, felt really bad. But he, he, alas, there's sand in his country, and uh, then he moved, went on his merry way. The the, the street smelled of burnt rubber. For hours. After I don't think that. it was burnt rubber. I think it was your transmission burning up. Yeah, probably. Because you you were, I figured out, first of all, I didn't even have to be there. I figured out the problem. Your tires weren't touching the ground. Correct. That's what I meant. When so I it's said, not burnt rubber. That was your transmission I dying. said burnt rubber to for the cartoonish aspect. You're yeah, no, actually, no, no, no. The, the, you're being realistic. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your transmission <laughs> pleading for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was your you know drivetrain. You know those red um, emergency fill up with gas containers? Yeah, yeah. I filled up three of them. Wasn't it eight times? I'm embarrassed. No, eight times was how many times you masturbated. Hey. Um, but yeah. uh, my God. That poor what? transmission on that car, bro. The poor girl. What, what does she have to do? Is everything I okay? I blamed her for everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yelled at her? I'm kidding. Oh, okay. It sounded Italian. But. Um, <laughs> My God, that's what happened last week. Shit. Um, so and that was fun. Yeah. How do you How do you feel about it now? Do you feel? I feel great. I feel. Uh, Does the car need to be repaired? Oh yeah, the car's got a lot of stuff going on. God. Just, just like me. Um, oh, he. So you ruined the car? No, no, I ruined myself first. What does that and mean? The, and then the car. <laughs> and then the car. Oh, and then you took it on the car. Um, by the way, you remember my uh, whole um, being stuck at Cancun Airport for a bunch of hours? Um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, whatever happened com- with that? Yeah. Uh, now they're saying that it was beyond their control. It was a security issue. Therefore, oh. it does not fall under the... And uh, they offer me $200 in Air Canada money. So not even... Yeah, it was awful. Were you Dave's? on this? Oh but shit! Dave, Dave, Dave is a very. Uh, Do you guys want to check out? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you did. Uh, who, who doesn't want to see Dave Land though? Oh, interesting. He's a brother I got. Oh, me too, dude. And because we like to do pranks, we actually decided oh. to make our own prank show and make it into a pilot and yes. sell yeah. it. 
Let's take a look. Welcome to Unsuitable Pranksters. <laughs> Today, we're going to be telling people they don't have cancer. But the trick is, they do have cancer. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yeah! Steve, good to see you. I'm your doctor. Uh, I got some good news for you, buddy. Yeah? You don't have cancer. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. That's yeah. such a relief. Okay, okay. <laughs> now tell him. He has cancer. I got I got other news for you. You do have cancer. Well, and it's more aggressive than we initially thought. No. <laughs> this is so crazy. No, are you are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you got like four months tops, honestly. Like I'd get my affairs in order if I were you. This is pretty bad. Oh my god. God damn. Uh, what am I gonna do? Die. <laughs> <laughs> From cancer. <laughs> No, nice. that's funny. That's a funny sketch. Unsuitable so prank. Didn't get picked up. Yeah, no one bought the show. That's <laughs> a cherry on top. Oh, yeah. that was a, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> cancer. You like that? Oh fuck that. Yeah, was, that was yeah. good. Are you gonna do more of those? Yeah, yeah. The, the the plan was to do a lot more, but we did it last minute. We didn't even do it with real cameras. We did it with the cell phone because it was just oh, funny. It was just the idea we could. Because I, I I was talking about the. Um, uh, that for a while, the uh, impractical jokers, just different stuff, and then yeah. they were thinking the same shit. So I was like, "Yo, let's just do one. Who's gonna stop us?" And thank God you travel with a uh, lab coat. That wasn't mine. In case you you ever need it. Yeah, um, the great Elio from Elio Pizzeria. Who was that? He wears a lab coat. I have no idea who you're talking about. Elio Pizzeria, not far from here. It's been around for many, many, many years. Elio is one of those guys, like, you know, like the butcher? Yeah. He's a lab coat guy. I've never been a kitchen lab coat guy. He's a lab coat guy. Oh, Only maybe because he doesn't want to get his clothes uh, right. dirty. Right, but there are other... Actually, I think that's kind of cool. I, that's I, that's why I'm saying it. I mean, exactly. I, I get it. You don't want to have, like, work clothes. You just want to throw something on top that doesn't dirty your fucking clothes. It's his thing. He wears a lab coat. You know what? The man's, uh, you know, the man's onto something. Man's not hot. I like this guy. You know what? I'm going to go eat there just because of that. It's pretty good. It shows cleanliness. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, Guido, while you were uh, masturbating uh, in the car, did you see uh, Sean Strickland, uh, how it went viral, him talking to the uh, reporters? Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, yes. That was... Uh, That's the one that we were watching? No. No, no, no. What, no, what did they not. ask him? I don't remember the clip. I've seen so many clips lately, and there's been a lot going on. So what did it, What did the reporter ask him, basically? Oh, yes. Okay. I read about it. I didn't see it. Go. You didn't see this? No. I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are you? Uh, uh, I don't know how to phrase that. <laughs> you, I mean, you got to like fucking, oh, yeah. Well, I did want to ask. <laughs> did you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. If, if, let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask him, oh, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say. That's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. <laughs> but, hey, <laughs> so this is, are, this but, is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy, the enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure, All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. Yeah, I this is, I watched it from here. I didn't even see that ago. before. You said if I had a gay son, I would think I'd... Oh, look, another... another. Yeah. These, I'm yeah. saying yeah. the swamp, you guys, the yeah. swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone... Let me ask model. you something. Have, are you have, are you, have, are you are gay? Have are, you had the chance no, to interact are, with a more diverse Are you... Let me know. Are you gay? Can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. This is a part of... Are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man. You know? oh, like, wow. You're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. And, and the fact that, God, the man. fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts, you ask me some stupid shit like that, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can't really answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that <sighs> you go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a what a mental fucking illness, and now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. Y you are you are an infection. <laughs> You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking 
bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the fucking enemy. <laughs> uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. <laughs> fucking insane. Rattled him. It ra it's just he's not as ah. well spoken, but I understand what he was trying to say. Well, the guy 100%. gets punched in the head for a living. But he got robbed on Saturday. He did get robbed. And he did got you robbed. see uh, Dana White? He, he, he lost the fight, but he didn't really lose the fight. Even Dana White was like, I don't. I, I watched it. I was like, oh, that's weird. I saw the other guy's so face. The, the puppet master is really strong. Like, they, no, no, it no. was very tight. I could see why. It wasn't like I'm like, oh my god, they're wasn't them. because of this. In other words, no, no, it wasn't because of this. It was people so are tight. saying it's because of this though. It may have been because it was in Toronto. You may have them shitty ass refs, but no joke, he won that. Even on paper points, we looked at it now with the significant strikes. He won it, but it was so tight. I, I don't think it's. Uh, like beyond the realm of possibility, why someone would vote for him, like uh, for vote against him in the, the, as a judge? Is this speech um, getting more, you know, uh, views than the fight? Uh, like, maybe not more than the fight, but uh, maybe. But it's getting a lot of views. People like, were, and it's so funny because they're like, cancel him, cancel him. All right, internet, do your thing, cancel him. Like, you can't cancel him. That's what he talks about. So if I cancel him, means that his boss won't let him do anything. But Dana White doesn't give a fuck what you say. Did you see? You sent the response that yeah, Dana, Dana White had. Yeah, that Dana, Dana White, White was, was like. like I'm not going to put my guys on a leash. It's called freedom of speech. Go yeah, he's not yourself. a politician. Yeah. You know, he's a fighter talking at a press conference. It's not Jesse Jackson. Man, it's just because they try to make it seem he goes, oh, he said gay people are trans are an infection. That's not what he said. He said you were the infection. Yeah. So the shitty you, journalists, sir. you, the shitty journalists. Miss yeah. I, I understood what he was saying. It shows how problematic it is because they allow politicians to get away with anything. Lies. Lies, embezzling, seizing bank accounts, seizing bank accounts illegal, uh, downright illegal shit. The no, no, oh, great leader, yes, fuck me more in the ass. <laughs> but guys like this who are fighters and and they're, they're they're trash talk for a living. They're like, oh no, let's cancel him. Did, did you see the? The guy's uh, not running anything, bro. The guy's running his mouth uh, and throwing punches. Did you see the fuck Trudeau chance? Where at the UFC? No, you didn't see that shit. No, that's amazing. People really hate this guy now. You, hey, I, it seems to be the uh, goddamn. What's uh, uh, the other guy there? Um, what's his name? He he backed out of the Republican. Uh, oh, the, the, the Ron DeSantis. Yeah, the, yeah. He said ciao. Uh, and the other guy too. He endorsed Trump. What was his name? The Indian guy. Vivek. Vivek. Uh, yeah, everybody backed out. Now it's basically Trump against um, Nikki Haley, who's a fucking clown. Bro, what did she say that was so insane? Bro, I'm so tired and like my brain's been all over the place lately because uh, of my car thing. And, uh, well, fuck, what did she say that pissed me the fuck off? First, she's a warmonger, so I don't like her. Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, they were chanting something really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Joe so this is in his, uh, Toronto, Joe yeah? Crowd. Oh, this guy's not. Trudeau. Fuck Trudeau. Trudeau. <laughs> 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 yelling, <"F> Trudeau. <laughs> It. Yeah, that guy's Canada, a piece of shit. Canada, get your shit together. Come <laughs> back, come back to what you used to be. So that's it from this. Too funny. This is, this is I, I will say this. Toronto usually, you know how they like to kiss the ass. I would say even eat the ass of the leader, mm -hmm. especially like Trudeau because they're open. This is in Toronto. You know what happened to them is they got that new mayor. Who was supposed oh, uh, to be Jack Layton's uh, yeah, widow? Yeah, exactly. Who is no Jack Layton? They all fell for it. They thought it was gonna be like a new Jack Layton. Not at all. She's a, she's like our mayor. Yeah, Dundas Square. She's changed the name to another name that was supposed to be like this is an African name, but the name she changed it to is basically this was crazy. Then <laughs> it is the uh, the people the, the the people that were in charge the black people that were in charge of enslaving other people. I think in Ghana. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling with the slavery. You can't make this up. So, so there's that. <laughs> then she's like, we're going to fuck. She goes, fuck uh, what people want. We're raising taxes. We're going to, like, basically she's anti-human yeah. being. Yeah. So people, I think, are starting to realize that, holy fuck, these people, they just speak good on the mic. They say, we want peace. We want no pollution. We want this. But it's just fuckery. It's just fuckery. What did I see in Ireland? They want to kill off 10% of the cows that they have. Bro, you know how crazy. fight yeah. pollution? Yeah, all that's going to do is raise uh, of the all methane? the costs. It's all nonsense. They're just going to raise Methane. the cost of their stuff. Okay. They're getting tricked, but some people fall for it. Some people think killing these animals is the key. They're so stupid. Yeah, how is that Everyone's logical? Everyone's uh, flying in private jets in Ireland. Kill the cows. How does that make sense? Yeah. It's annoying, huh? 
How, it's in scope, but we, bro, we've hit. Like, I'm convinced, like I thought at first, it was... Like, people uh, can't be that stupid. No, I thought it was stupidity. Whatever happened to the Irish Republic? Now I'm convinced army. it's malicious, bro. Like, it's becoming apparent. Like, you can't be this dumb. Like, there's no way you have an IQ of 50, We've, and you somehow manage to become in charge of a country or a city or become a mayor or, like, there's no way. But you have to have some level of... Of intelligence in order to attain these Wait. positions in life. Says who? You're you're taking for granted this uh, little rectangle device that we carry like you have every to go day. To school okay, and like shit. The, no, you don't. The, no, 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 you don't. No. Why would you have to go? You don't have to go to school. If you win, it's a popularity contest. None of us in the world has I've ever experienced in any generation the influence of this rectangle in our hands. So the amount of it, it makes this thing makes people stupid if they look at the things that you know what I mean. That, yeah, that, yeah. That's my point. It's the 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 brain the, dead, brain dead, and that's what you're describing. You're saying, how could it be possible for somebody to be that stupid? I understand, but I have it in my hands as well. I never said you were. Stupid. And look, let's argue. I'm I'm pretty dumb. Let's be honest. <laughs> like kidding. if we take a collection of things, like yeah, I'm pretty dumb as shit. There's a balance. You know what I mean? You if gotta, we take a, the collection of intelligence of human beings, I'm stuff, not the brightest bulb. You also got to look at uh, yeah. in, uh, intelligence. And stuff. I'm not mad about it. I just want to enjoy life. You know, have sex, eat shit, sleep, and like everybody else. You know what By I mean? By the way, how at was the your bowel time? movement At the same today, time, you... baby. <laughs> how was your bowel movement? Living life on the wild side. You haven't discussed your bowel. Not bad, actually. Pretty healthy. Yeah. Yeah. We don't care. Got some fiber. Long and strong. Brav. Unlike my. Dick. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, what were we saying? Uh, we're saying that, nobody knows um, anymore. Yeah, uh, I don't know either. But yeah, man, it's fine because I, I don't know. I don't are you familiar with uh, um, a real estate guru named Robert Kiyosaki? Yeah, he's not a real estate guru. He's he's the he's the gold money's not real guy. The the author of uh, Rich Dad Poor Rich Dad. Dad, yeah. Poor Dad. Yeah. Apparently, this guy was a billion dollars in debt. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's all real estate like portfolios. Biggest, no, that's, no, 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 no. He's. I didn't. Re I just saw something recently. I had no idea. Like, I thought this guy. He. He was. I learned the term passive income from this guy. Okay. But it turns out he hasn't been making passive income. Well, he I talks so. about the real estate. But that's it. He's that. That's his gig. He's the he's the talk about guy, not necessarily the investing guy. So that. But how would he? he hold he, on, I'm the, confused. New York City has um, when when you walk around New York. So he uh, didn't actually buy property. Well, seemingly, whatever he did. Uh, he's proud of the fact that he's a billion dollars in debt. Yeah. Because yeah, but, he he, somebody has to pay for it. In any case, well, he's in debt, but like basically, he what he keeps telling people is like, I owe this money. He went, got it to crypto. Yeah, but it's real estate like, portfolios. It's no, not. No, he moved no, on no. to crypto it's all and kinds. shit. He now. just took out money. Yeah. Dead. He bought crypto. He bought gold. He bought something. It's not all real estate portfolio. A real estate. Por do you even know what real estate portfolio means? I don't feel like you're even using it no, right in this case. It's the shit sorry, you own. But yeah, he owns like a bunch of real estate properties. That's not no? debt. No, that's not. His debt comes from actual money that he owes because he bought all kinds yeah, of shit. Yeah, but he he financed the house like he mortgaged them. Exa no, but he has, he has a billion dollars in debt. He's a billion dollars in debt from other shit that he bought. That he goes, this is real stuff. So I, I, I took out debt. Like basically, let's say he took out a million dollars. Like for example, okay, he took that million dollars. He bought crypto and gold. And so he's like, yeah, I owe them a million dollars, but I have a million dollars worth of crypto and gold. But it's like, yeah, but you still owe a million dollars. Like, <laughs> and we listen to this guy for uh, who's we? Well, well, financial we, advice. Like, like, well, the world seems like, it's like if Paul McCartney walks into a bank and says, "I'll give you this Beatles catalog and uh, lend me a billion dollars." You know, it but makes sense. He didn't. It's not the. It, yeah. it, it all depends on how much interest he's paying on the debt versus how much he's making uh, versus how much uh, he's appreciating the stuff that he bought, like whether it's gold, appreciating, and if it's paying uh, residuals. That's he, yeah, he's, it's going he, up. His his biggest hit he took from. Uh, when There's you, no residuals if you bought physical gold. It's just how much is it appreciate? How much is it yeah, worth today yeah. versus? Well, because the, there's some cryptos that give you like an API. They call it. It's not crypto. He he buys mostly physical gold, and he has some crypto. But his big money, he says, is from his big holdings are gold, physical gold. gold. Yes, uh, warehouses. Are so he's I, banking I would, on the I would, fact. I would do that. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, but the problem is you do that with your profits. Yeah, yeah, no, he was doing it with a... He's doing it with debt. Careless. He's a gambler. So, well, it, well, what he could do is because he already made the purchases, he could just go bankrupt. 
and he keeps the I gold. I think that's what he did. But what, wouldn't they come collect the gold? The, well, trust me, if this, he probably doesn't have his gold at his house, bro. Obviously. It's in Fort Knox, Die Hard 3. Try to find it. But no yeah, one with a billion dollars worth of gold is dumb enough to be like, I'm going back up, here's my gold. Yeah, no, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of um, a story of my dad. If it was really smart, he would. Sorry, I cut you off, Guido. Uh, you're like he a moil. Go bankrupt. That's funny. He would go bankrupt, and then they would find like $900 million worth of or whatever. And he would keep like the other hundred million hidden or some shit. Yeah, and if he was smart, he would just start going the uh, the rounds and be like, "I fucked up, yeah. I, I'm bankrupt, I, I lost all my gold." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah, then just... But he he loses some, like they they allow him to collect some. Yeah, yeah. Just to be like, okay, we collected most. And of then it. he goes off the map. And then he goes disappears, bro. The guy. Uh-huh. Oh, that's what happened with uh, what's her name? There's a woman that did that. Did what? She's she's she was a crypto scammer. She made money and fucked off, and nobody's seen her since. Oh, she made that... money off uh, Adam, pretty much. <laughs> a lot of Adams. Isn't that the but... nerdy girl that was like getting gang banged by all these crypto dudes? I think you just made up a story in your no, head. No, no, you don't remember. She was apparently they were all like fucking her and shit. Again, I feel like you're making up. You're mixing was like up this stories. Crypto girl, maybe I am. I don't know. That's I think Meryl I'm... Streep. You're insane, bro. Um, okay, quickly. So. So it turns out that this uh, Rich Dad Kiyosaki, uh, uh, he was more of a Tony Robbins talking to people guy than a real estate guy. And uh, in New York, when you... Uh, but he's always been saying that he has debt. He doesn't believe debt is real. Right, but to, mm. to, to reach this level. But the, the big hit he took was from the learning annex. Uh, What's that? I, I mean, I'm sure that... You know when you uh, on the street, you have those um, uh, free newspapers, uh, those little... Uh, Things uh, that you grab the Montreal Mirror from yeah, those yeah. those they don't even I don't even know if they exist anymore. Newspaper but, stands, but the and uh, there was one for the learning annex where you could go uh, take a speed reading course from the world's uh, fastest speed reader yeah, on a Saturday morning. Uh, there was one that I regret not going to. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley Botich and his friend Michael Jackson invite you. I could have gone to see Michael Jackson hang out with his rabbi buddy, uh, and I didn't go. I went to the speed reading one. I fell asleep. I don't but, think that's real. Uh, Kiyosaki got sued uh, from the learning annex for um, no show events. And. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Well, was, why uh, wouldn't he not show? If you're getting paid, just go do your fucking thing, bro. Yeah, maybe he was uh, on drugs, man. I don't know. Um, I can speed read for you. I could speed. You could do speed. <laughs> Have you seen. Well, watch uh, how fast I read, bro. Uh, uh, Howard, yeah. Howard Stephen Byrne, Done, bro. That's how that's fast, his name. Bro. Believe it or not, wow, you got fuck, shit on me. I remember his name, Howard Stephen Berg, the world's fastest speed reader. Can't believe I know that. Um, <sighs> so I, I was, um, uh, you, you know, they have like now. There's a lot of like anti-comedian channels on YouTube, and they, that's funny. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And they call out. They're like. Um, uh, Andrew Schultz is a piece of shit. Here's why. Have you seen those? Yo, Andrew I've, you know what? You're right. It, I've been way. getting a lot. Uh, of have these. you seen those? You're right. He yes. has been showing up on my stuff. So one of them was, and I'm not. I don't know if they said it to insult him or if it's. I'm not in the loop. You know, I went to Dallas. I'll go to Austin next month. I'll try to figure out. But they, they called this girl. She has a podcast. She's a comic. They called her. Um, oh God! I know where this is going. They, She's got the half managerial. Call me the manager they, haircut. They, they, they. No, you don't know at all where this is going. <laughs> I don't. You're right. I'm talking out of my ass. Go ahead. Yeah, that, that was nice that you decided. <laughs> the at least the amount of confidence he has when he says it, fuck, he believes it. So they called her, uh, I think she does that at Tom uh, Segura's uh, studios. Anyways, they said it's Tom Segura's side chick. And I was That's like, funny. what? His gumar. Who do you feel should pay on a first date? Absolutely me. Do you yeah. feel And like- also, if I invite you someplace really nice... I should buy you an outfit to wear. And if we're going to some kind of a cowboy thing, I should buy your clothes and whatever else needed to be paid for. Oh, Ron White. Fucking applaud Ron White. Green flags all around. Right. So anyway, so I I don't know what she, like, oh, there's this. And there's like that part, that thing that's like kind of magical, right? Like in the air where you just go They're like like, talking shit about her, but it seems fun. I just want to keep talking to this person. That's great chemistry. I want to keep talking to you, you know? But what if the girl is like a 10 out of 10 smoke show, uh-huh. but you have no chemistry? That question is a great one. And the answer is, how old are you oh. when this happens? <laughs> That's a good question. Because, 
<laughs> so at 21, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this 10 out of 10 all over the world until the fucking brakes fall off. You know, yeah. I just don't care. At my 44-year-old ass right now, I'd be like, there is not a chance in hell. I don't care. Because it's, it's not enough. Yeah. So they, they were basically trying to talk shit, and then I saw it. I'm like, who's this girl, Lauren Compton? And I was like, they were trying to talk shit about her. Yeah, but I liked it. Like I saw clips, and I was like, you know what? That's a good concept. It's called First Date, her podcast. Okay. And they're like, oh look, it's a uh, what do you say? It's Tom Segura's side chick doing the thing. And then because I guess he produces because he produces the podcast, kind of like how I produce your guys. Okay, okay, so okay. You guys are my side chicks. And, <laughs> and, and then but I, she's into it though. But it's so I, I watch other clips. It's oh, such so a it's good concept. Yeah, it's 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 called First Date. So basically, she treats it. She brings different guests, and she treats it like it's a first day. She asks questions. It's so much fun. And I was like, what the fuck? That's a good you know concept what? for a now, podcast. Now that you funny. mention it, it's like, so, they, they, so the concept went over their head, basically. No, I don't know. People no, might no, not like it. about just, getting I think this. Bro. I think this conversation is going over your head. But no, <laughs> uh, uh, I bet you there's a lot of people out there that are like, fuck, yeah. I wish I thought of that. It's a pretty good I thought, idea. I thought it was good because yeah. a lot of podcasts are the same thing over and over. It was good to yeah. see that it was First something date. different. Such a yeah, it's such a unique thing. And I like that it's Ron White of all people. Yeah, she she brought everyone on. <laughs> I don't know who Ron White is. That man with I the saw white Norman hair. There. Uh, Mark Norman was on there and he was fucking hilarious. Uh, there's a lot of good clips I saw. So all this to say, yes, the internet sometimes will shit on people, but l- yeah. before just reading, the, before looking at the thumbnail and agreeing, watch it because they might be wrong. And on, in this case, with this chick, she doesn't bother anyone. She's fucking. It's I a like funny it. show. I like how I, I thought she was. I, I thought you were showing me something. <laughs> Because her face looked like some You're the porn. people I'm talking about. You're literally them. <laughs> I like how before it even started, because of the haircut, I thought you were bringing something up. Like, she's complaining. But about, that's what I'm saying. About you, Andrew Shaw. You're the people I'm talking I just, about. I just attacked her. She was Karen. No, for no reason. The girl did I didn't even wrong. give her a chance, bro. Oh, <laughs> poor poor just, lady, bro. She's fucking hot, bro. Oh, she's fucking hot. Man. You see, Poseidon, what you're doing there is you are getting a perception based on what you see. I misunderstood what he told me. Very much. Yeah. <laughs> I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> I said more than the assignment. Hey, it happens. She kind of looked like, uh, like shit. Uh, she kind of looked like uh, Marky Post, but you wouldn't know who that is. Nope. He uh, knows who Marky Mark is. It's just a nope. good vibration. Come on, come on. Oh, by the way, I've been uh, karaoke Oh god. I'm taking Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta you gotta you gotta emphasize on that shit, bro. Emphasize. Like, I'm taking requests. Hold like, on, hold on. You no, gotta no, no, emphasize no. on that Not shit? emphasize, but like you how, mean elaborate? Elaborate, sorry, yeah. Bro, emphasize. I'm Karaoke! No no no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta emphasize. <laughs> sorry. You were doing what? I meant I was uh, <laughs> doing a lot of karaoke. <laughs> I might elaborate, sorry. Like underline. So you're just it. going to random karaoke bars yeah. and karaoke? Yeah. That See, I, I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. Um, I uh, haven't really uh, been uh, on a microphone uh, a lot regularly. We can tell from how you just said that sentence. Yeah. No, I mean, besides <laughs> this, uh, for the past three years, um, being in front of a crowd speaking, um, it, it, very much like in a, co- a, a, a comedy club or whatever, a comedy theater, I, I've been trying to on purpose make myself feel uncomfortable on a microphone. <laughs> Correct. Just to, because I'm a fucking masochist. And so I just, I, most embarrassing, stupid song I could sing. I go sing it in front of French people and they're like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. I don't know why I'm very upset at you. Wait, hold on. So, so you go to karaoke where it's public. It's not a room. It's not a booth. Yeah, yeah, no. It's There's not like a there Korean and, place. Yeah. And then you just show up and you're like, yeah. don't stop Correct. believing. Yeah. Well, I mean, not that song, but yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Do you cry? I can, but I haven't to say. If you want me to, no, I'll... I don't want you to cry. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not you, comfortable with like, people crying. Mama, I, I, ooh, ooh, <laughs> I would I cry. I need to make you cry. <laughs> well, you I'm not back again this time tomorrow. Carry, carry on, on, carry <laughs> on, because I'm nothing, nothing really matters. Yeah. You just it's reminded Mario. me something. One time I was in the car with uh, Viron. And uh, I had just discovered Bohemian Rhapsody. Hmm. Really? And I really enjoyed like Wayne and Garth. Yeah. And the song I had just discovered it, and I, I would sing it like to the top of my lungs because I, Mama. Yeah. And Great and song. Uh, and uh, I sang the whole song, and uh, and then like uh, I didn't even know like Freddie Mercury was gay at the time. 
What does that have to do with it? I have that no that's not idea what he just said what he said. Do, but it, I don't know. I feel like it adds a layer of funniness to it. And then uh, and then Veron goes, uh, after I, I was done singing, and he goes, yeah, bro, you're gay. <laughs> just the, uh, so, so the Freddie Mercury thing added nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it ruined the whole flow of the story. It did. And even Veron just calling you gay, this wasn't a story. You didn't tell us a story. Yeah, you're They right. were both gay at that moment. No, it just made me uh, laugh. Yeah, you remind it reminded me of that, and it made me laugh. Veron, the, these uh, these are thoughts that you keep to yourself. It's not yes. a podcast thing. <laughs> so I mean, uh, what, what have I been doing? Uh, I've been si- so wait, what? hold on. So in it, in order to practice stand up, instead of going up on stage to to make do people st- laugh, stand up and yeah. do what you uh, chose as a career path, you're like, oh, I'm, I know I'm gonna practice by doing karaoke. I'll I'll um, it, I, it's more on the technical level. It's almost like I'm gonna go bench. Uh, 500 pounds just so I could do 250 easily. No. Yeah, no, it no. isn't at all. <laughs> no. At all. At all. No. It's the antithesis of comedy. So you, you're doing the opposite of stand up. You're not doing stand up. No, it's not about stand up. I was talking you about. You said it was my, about stand up. No, no, no. Uh, I, I, what I mean is uh, public speaking. No, you have okay. stage fright. Are, are you trying to be a stage politician? Fright. It's stage fright. It's stage stupidity. Are you trying to be a politician? No. So no. then you should care about stand up. That's correct. This this is ridiculous. I can't compute. Look, man, it's just an excuse to sing and sound intelligent about it. You know, huh? you could sing in your shower in your car. No, why? I first of all, I take a bath. Sing, sing <laughs> while you're taking a bath. <laughs> do you really take a bath? Splash, splash. No, I I've been known to do that. Taking baths? Yeah. Stay in my own filth. Uh, uh, why baths? So you could uh, and not showers. Stay in his own filth. He said it because it's um, it feels like a warm hug, very much like morphine. What? Um, so I've been singing. Uh, what else? Uh, you know what's really hard? Uh, I'm still standing. El- uh, Elton John. Very difficult. I Song bet. to sing? Yeah. Well, if you're not a singer, yeah. I, I can no, no, no. But the words are so fast. Try them. It's, it's a very... You can never know what it's like. That shit, that's... Uh... Yeah, we gotta get him on love on the spectrum. <laughs> oh yeah, it's too far gone. There's a new, uh, <laughs> there's a new, bro. The new season of Love on the Spectrum, How season hilarious. two, US. There's this one guy, bro. I think his name is Connor. Yes, he's got a hot sister. Yes, and, and you know who I'm talking about. Yes, and he's he, my favorite. I know <laughs> that's why I said hot sister. <laughs> but your favorite, especially your favorite, isn't the guy that's you, the guy that went to Africa. That's not me, bro. Oh, Stop it. Even your girlfriend said it. So by the way, I thought insulted. I thought they were gonna get eaten. By the way, by lions. No, no, Netflix would never let that happen. I know, I know, but I'm like, they're going to get eaten because even though... I thought they were going to get killed by black men. <laughs> so, uh, they uh, said, we're going to Africa. But, and I was but, like, oh, that's not going to end well. But I'm like, I even Pretend called Pretend I it. never watched. I have no idea what's going on. So what's happening? Uh, uh, to uh, an autistic couple. Yeah. He goes to the girl because they both love lions. Like, they, that's how they bonded. They love lions and, yeah. and Lion King and penguins. And uh, the list doesn't stop. So he said, your dream <laughs> is... Is, is to go to Africa to see the lions. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. I'm taking myself, <laughs> yourself, my sisters, your mom to Africa. And then she's like, oh, that's so sweet. I like to go to Africa. And then the mom's like, no, you're not understanding me, you stupid dummy. <laughs> it's happening next week. Like, this is actually <laughs> yeah, <I> happening. <laughs> and then, so they fly to Africa and then they're there and there's a <clears throat> guy, you know, an African. He's, he's in the safari. And hey, Michael, is that a lion? And the African guy's like, don't worry, my friend. You gonna see a lion. <coughs> you gonna see a lion tomorrow. But right now, that is hippopotam. <laughs> hippopotam. That is giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> but uh, and then but so it's well, like well, a well, well, I want to get back to what I was saying about the guy with the sister. So this guy Connor, uh, why he's amazing, is he does this speed dating thing, where you sit <laughs> in front of a person, you speed date, you know, and For then when they leave, you decide to check yes or yeah. no. But this guy, bro, he's asking questions, and then he's in front of them while he's talking to them. He's like, eh. And he, in front of me, he's right. He's, <laughs> he's hexing me. His honesty is. Yeah, and then someone asked, they go, Are you are you filling out the form while they're in front of you? He's like, Why was I not supposed to? Oh, that's great. oh I knew I was going to fuck this up. And he takes everything too serious. He's like, It's like when I yell at you guys because you guys are artistic when you overthink like, shit. Yeah. So the, it's like, uh, Oh, this is a nice girl. You got along with her. Oh my God. This is in love. This is in love. It's just lust. It's just a crush. What is happening to me? And you I'm know like, what, Oh my God. You know God. what I like him is he is so theatrical about it's everything. Very theatrical. It's like a child. It, a child like, is honest. 
No, but he, it's like, not just honest. their feelings. It's he's he's. You should see him, man. It is amazing. It's like he's doing a play every time he speaks. So this this it's a monologue. I love it. It's it's this, there's he's always on kind of. Yeah, but except he's autistic. Well, they all are. But yeah, uh, so th- this and, show is like a car wreck. To, you can't look away. It's not no, a car wreck. It's no, no, lovely. not at all. No, There's but in one a good guy, way, I guess. So the guy's like a robot. He's always like forcing a smile. Goes on my yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He started dating. I don't know if his last, but a, a chick with like a full Down syndrome. Girl. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, I, I gotta. I, I prepared this <laughs> mentally. Okay. Uh... I'm going to be the chick with Down syndrome. This is okay. amazing. And you're going to tell me everything that you like uh, very fast, in order. Everything, everything. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. I, I, everything, uh, everything. I, I, I like to do laundry. I like to uh, cook spaghetti. I enjoy uh, making pizza. I enjoy eating pizza. Eating is a lot of fun. I like making people laugh. I like uh, looking at people, observing, like I'm looking at you right now. Why is your mouth open? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's like it was the best day. Dude, ever. I feel bad doing it, but it's hilarious. I love her. She was crying. Right when she got there, she saw him and she's like, "You're very handsome." And then <laughs> she and, smacked her lips. And, and then and then he said to her because he's like, "Did you like our day? Did you like her? Because I had a good time." And I said, "Yes, I did." And then you're not sure like how he feels. And then he goes, I had fun too because you're very nice and we like the same things and you're very beautiful. And then it looked like she was gonna cry. And then I was almost crying. I was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing. It's so good." That, that, yeah, yeah. I after I stopped jerking off, I, 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 <laughs> I, I went about my day. Speaking uh, of the, there the was spectrum some, but there, we, but hold on, yeah. there was a r- lot of, I'm not done with it yet, but there was a, it's okay. so far there was a lot of really good moments that were hilarious. Like when, when they're going on the safari and they ask, are we, are we food for the lions? And they're like, yeah, they were, they were shocked. I'm like, no, dude, I just started cackling. Uh, what else? Were, were, they, were they, um, I mean, everyone's American, were they African American? No, no, no. These are uh, Americans. In Africa, yeah, uh, there's not that many black downsy people. Eh? I noticed. But did you see that one of the guys, the the guy who uh, is like my cousin, the guy that, <laughs> yeah, the guy with the sword, him, yeah, the guy who loves swords. He was the black woman he went on a date with. Yo, yo, hold on, we gotta talk about this. She's a pedophile. So, so listen, <laughs> that is a so listen, that is a pedophile. Well, no, that was an adult. She, however, no, 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 the so woman, she, the black woman, yeah, is a pedophile. The TLC. But hold on, hold on. But Netflix. how is how is okay. she a pedophile? She's she's okay. dating a grown man, an adult. But here's the thing: she's a legit normal person, kindergarten teacher, <laughs> and she found him very attractive on the internet, Suspicious. and she met him, and and then he he he's the one who told her no because they were dating and he liked her. He thought she was cute, but she wanted to have kids. He's like. Ah. I promised myself when I was, I'm never gonna have it. I can't take care of babies. I can't even take care of my sword collection. <laughs> <laughs> and he's having a fit just from the thought. But here, yeah, so then he said no. <laughs> yeah. So here's what I find weird about her. She's a pre-K teacher, like she said. Pre-K. Uh, hey. I've, I've, and I've, she's um, attracted to somebody who is perpetually like hold that, on, though. who is perpetually st- stuck in like a child world world brain. Yeah. I, I I wanna Which is weird. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna It's weird. I'm gonna go against you on that. No, he's not a child. And I'll tell you why. I know he's not a child. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll tell you why though. No child has a sword collection. I uh a teenager maybe. No, no, no I, I understand that. Child. I understand that. But he's armed, my friend, and he's dangerous. I get, <laughs> I get what you're saying. It's almost like in the movie uh Billy Madison, his kindergarten teacher. That like put the finger paint on her face, and she was too much into being a kindergarten teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 he would, he, he would, he would agree. You, but then that fourth grade teacher, god damn, <laughs> that Veronica Vaughn yeah. is uh, one piece of ass. I should know. I don't get the reference. No, you I'm wouldn't. sorry. You but really a don't? friend of mine would know. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, that's um, show uh, Veronica Vaughn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you ever see Mortal Kombat the movie? A long time ago. Okay, she's Sonya. It's Chris Farley who, anyways, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll Veronica Vaughn. Fucking Bonanima, the Chris Farley. He's one of those guys. He's one piece of ice. Uh, yeah, see what you're doing there, motherfucker. No, you don't. Show. You don't see what you. How no, no, I, we, no. He, it's it's, a, it's so, a gay thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on. <clears> well, don't no, don't drag I'm me just into your homosexuality. I'm just getting rid of the commercial. Veronica Vaughn. Yeah, when he's trying to learn, and she's like, every time you get an answer right, I'll take an item of clothing off. There, there he is. There's Veronica Vaughn, bro. Gorgeous. Move it or lose it. That's O'Doyle. Hi, Miss Vaughn. Nice to see you. No! That Veronica Vaughn. 
Monica Vaughn is one piece of ace. <laughs> <laughs> from experience, dude. You know what I mean? No, you don't. Well, not me personally, but <laughs> the guy I know. Him and her got it on. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. No, no, no. <laughs> That's funny. You can imagine what it'd be like if they did, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I fuck it. Chris Everybody on? Good. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Chris Farley's the man. Uh, uh, the <laughs> Which perfect uh, segue. That is the type of man that you see him on a on the poster of a movie, and you're gonna go see a movie. On the box. Chris Farley? Just, yeah. Oh, I love Chris. There, Farley. there, there. There was a time and place because I worked in a video store. The only thing I have in common with Quentin Tarantino, uh, and uh, uh, there used to be a time. Sixty-six. Here, this is where she's stripping. Look at this. Look at. She's trying to help him study. Whatever happened to this girl? I thought that's what I was gonna ask. Magna Carta. Magna Carta. Come on, come on. Twelve, fifth. Spanish Armada. <laughs> Fourteen sixty six. Sixty seven. But I would have memorized the whole dictionary. Fifteen fourteen. Not in my life. Nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty six. Nineteen eighty six, bro. Do not do that. Come on, I swear. Nah. Just hang in there one second. Please, God, give me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I get his frustration, bro. Yeah, I get it. Bro. What's this actress's name? Uh, Veronica Vaughn, bro. That's how I know oh, her for name. Real? No, 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 that's, that's her name in the show. No. I, uh, she played, that's the only two movies I know from her is Billy Madison and uh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Same. It. Yeah, I have it's no Bridget clue. Wilson, her name is. All right. American actress. She was also in, uh, oh yeah, stuff we've never seen. Uh, Phantom Punch, Starstruck, Sweet Evil, Shop Girl. How did she uh, go to Extreme like... Ops, Buying the Cow. Oh, she was in the Wedding Planner. Uh, Love Stinks, Billy Matt. Wow, what the hell, bro? After what, Billy Matt, what, what's her last, uh, like, what year? 20 something? Let's check her uh, IMBD. Her IMBD. Damn, I already found her nudes, bro. No way. They're fake, bro. So, uh, known for Billy Madison. Uh, the, oh, she was in Last Action Hero with uh, in '93. Yes, she played the uh, Schwarzenegger's daughter in that. You're absolutely yeah. right. And then '95, she was she, hot she, in that she too. Did, yeah, she was very hot. Uh, 2007, 2019, she was in Mortal Kombat 11. The <laughs> video game. Oh no, they put her in the video game. 11. Yeah, she was in like an episode of CSI. Fuck, that's crazy. Yeah, she's a broad. Yeah, yeah. She, she just she said. Ciao. But some people fall through the cracks. That's what Hollywood is. There's so many like attractive people. Yeah. So what you're telling me is I'll never have a chance. No, no, there's already a chance. Well, you probably have a chance with her now. No, I'm talking about Hollywood. Oh. No, no, no. No, no you'll that, be that was the joke because I'm I am yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. fucking disgusting. Because I'm a fucking uh, monster. Because I'm, I'm a fucking disgusting animal. Because I'm a monster. <laughs> oh, I'm a monster. Shit. So you would watch uh, a movie just because of Chris Farley being on the poster? Me personally, right. yeah. I I I which brings to my point what I was thinking about. Um yeah. there was a time I don't know if that exists anymore is there like now okay the rock i'm gonna go see that movie just because the rock is on the poster actually i would like, say nowadays i would i avoid movies just because there are oh, certain some, actors like they, in sometimes it. people annoy yeah. you yeah but like there was a, time, a lot of colored folk on the screen yeah, well like <laughs> speaking of color a perfect example people didn't care what the fuck the movie was about if richard pryor was on that poster in 1970 something they were mm. gonna go i'm gonna ask with you if richard pryor's on the poster i'll go right now <laughs> yeah correct but uh, yeah, there was like, there's some people that could just carry, and, and Schwarzenegger did it with the action movies and Stallone, obviously, like, oh, look. Eh, yeah. But in the it comedy. It still happens. In the com but who? Like, I'll avoid Kevin no, no, Hart No, it depends who now. you are. So, for example, me and you and him, there's no, it's very rare that an actor is going to get me out of my seat. Now, a director would, a new Tarantino film, right. he will get me out of my seat. You are correct. Many, there, there's a good portion of Brad Pitt or DiCaprio films that will get me out of my seat. I like those two dudes. Yes. Um, yeah. I agree. I'm also a fan of Uma Thurman. Uh, I like her face and I like the way she acts. Uh, so she might get me out of my seat. You, there's certain actors and actresses yeah. that I really, really like that if the movie seems yeah. good, I'll go watch. They'll literally carry a movie. You, you know, know who grew on me? Christian Bale. 
Yo, the, the talent. I, I didn't like him as of, Batman. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but then what happens? I started watching his older stuff. I watched the Prestige and, and, uh, and then Psycho. Yeah. And oh, America's Psycho that I already knew, but but, but, but he didn't win me over. But Prestige, Prestige is, is brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. You haven't? Have you seen? I've it? seen it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Dude, anything about cloning and all that Fucking shit. I love David that shit. Bowie. Yeah. It was amazing. Pretty, yeah. Good movie. El Prestige. Yeah. Um. The little kid that cries when the bird dies. Now you know. You know what gets me out of my seat for movies? Porn. No. Um, the universe. So I'm oh, it's very... called, sorry, sorry, it's called gravity. Yeah, it does no, no, get no, no, you no, out but, of that but, seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like the, the, the universe, uh, like the world of what story they're telling about. Like Dune 2, like I'm very excited for Dune Part 2, bro. You know what I mean? Like if they come out with the new Lord of the Rings, I want to watch. I don't care who's in it or what the story is. I just want to see that world come to life. Well, so you weren't disappointed with the last Lord of the Rings movies, like the the Hobbit uh, or the Fro- Mijo, Here's the whatever thing. They could have been Frodo Baggins. They could That's have been, all I know about. They could have been much better. I still enjoyed them for what they are. He says a garbage. Disappointing. Oh, it was that the, bad. The Gandalf. Uh, honestly, they're not. You know what bothers me is they're not memorable. Nah, I don't remember. I think I remember. I watched them, and I can't remember. Like I know Lord of the Rings by heart. Really. Almost by heart, entirely. The the the, the sequences, uh, what they say, what happens, or who you the, know, the the heights, the 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 the, the dimensions, the, the 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 scenery. I remember it all. It's in my head. You too shall pass. Oh, is that that's her again, huh? Because my family boycotted it. I was part of the Southern Baptist regime. Oh, when wow. I was growing up, this is something Southern I did not know about yeah, you. Yeah, I thought you might like this one. <laughs> it's it's kind of good to this yeah. So I grew up Southern Baptist, mm. and my parents did not let me watch Southern. Disney at all, Be- ever. Imagine them now with all the transgender stuff. They yeah, probably, I know. Are your parents still into this? Look thing? over his eyes. Are no, uh, now focused. my mom. Uh, I think my mom watches Disney and everything, but. Growing up, the the concept was that the whole church did it. It was a whole church agreement, like boycotting Disney because there's subliminal sexual messages that are bad for children. And so, can you you specify one? Like, I guess in the Little Mermaid, there's a part where the fin flips up and the sand, and it like spells sex. No. I, you want to know fun fact? <laughs> Look at him, bro. He's just getting some fun. He's talking about. He's just, <laughs> he's just, he jacked off he's, to her, he's bro. He's just looking at it, parents. He came three yeah. times. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, I know that Poseidon was going crazy there because I was calling yeah. him over. Normally, he turns his head. He I, was was watching her, I was watching yeah. her cleavage. Yeah, That's, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. you know, I, I got to say the something. The fact that she's a church going girl makes it even harder. I, I gotta say, Hold on. I got to say something. It's always the ex... It's always the, 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 the women that come from... Uh, Stop right there. <laughs> it's always the women that come from like uh, religious sex, like these weird religious sex that turn out to be... Freaky the shit. Because they're re- repressed. Bombshells. Yeah. She's a bombshell. Yeah. Three years ago... She's I, from a church where they close their eyes and put their hands in the air when they pray. That's yeah. Baptist. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Jesus, those people. God damn. Yeah. Oh, Poseidon, and Dr. Go? Drew is famous from the sex lines with that oh, no. Corolla. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. And she's talking poor, to the gayest kid. Poor, what are you talking about, gay? All right. Uh, p- p- uh, he has no idea who he is. Yeah, that's why. He's he's hanging and banging. But uh, fucking Poseidon. <laughs> Poseidon's going through a rabbit hole of podcast Matt, clips tonight. Matt Rife. This guy? Yeah. All right. You don't so, know him. This guy's a... Uh, okay, uh, bro, enough about this guy, bro. He's a, he's a, he's a, it's all him on screen. He looks like Duran Duran to me. Damn. There we go. <laughs> Damn. So it's, this is her first date show. This is. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> the side is losing his back in life. Damn. Look at her. Look at her. It looks like she's fucking. Bam, 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 bam. Hold on, did the clip restart? <laughs> yeah, the clip restarted a few times, my friend. <laughs> you just... Uh... But, uh, I'd, I'd watch a movie with a, a poster of her, bro. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Do you remember... There's not that many people that can carry a, 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 a film. She can carry her two films. She reminds me of... Um, man, do you remember... Um, not Pamela Diane. Anderson, the other girl... Um, no, but she was. This this one seems smart. There. What the What's heck? her name? Who's that? So, uh, the, Lauren Compton. The, God damn. The blonde. So uh, I think uh, actors, like actresses, hot actresses, probably like S- P- Pamela Anderson back in the day. Barbed wire. 
Yeah, but right that now that top was working overtime, bro. Yeah. Uh, but right now, hot actresses that people would probably spend money to go. I think Na- Anne Hathaway and Natalie Portman still sell tickets, mm. but they're in their forties. Yeah, but like, uh, who are the the young ones coming up? Margot Robbie sells tickets yes. to the hotness. Oh yeah, is, for sure, yeah, for sure. Margot for Robbie, for right. guys, I think it's still like the hotness is still Brad Pitt and Tom. Uh, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise a bit, but I think Brad Pitt older, and uh, older, DiCaprio older. still sell for their looks. Yeah, this kid, uh, this kid in the Iron Claw. There, I think that uh, is the hottest. Oh, uh, Zach Braff. Big time, Zach, yeah. Uh, he's, Efron. He's, yeah, Zach Efron, whatever. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Zach Braff is the the funny the one fucking, from, from that, Scrubs. That, that show, there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I think she may be the hottest podcaster, by the way. <laughs> this fucking guy's in love. <laughs> I'm I'm um, amazed. Well, um, look, I, I can't I'm believe Dr. Drew that you said that. I'm literally three yeah, feet away from you. You so can funny. go fuck yourself. You've been dethroned. The, um, <laughs> How dare you? I try so L- hard. Leave. <laughs> you Dude. Your titties are better than mine. <laughs> it really is about her tits, though. Let's not and her attitude. It's of the course, whole thing. of course. It's, uh, and the fact that she can actually hold a conversation. I think that's what it is. I like what Poseidon said. Made normally that girls statement. can't, right? I didn't even I didn't even hear a single word <laughs> she said. He's never heard a single word she said. The thing about her, she's a smart girl. She's got shit together. Her finance is a top notch. But I can't believe Dr. Drew there. He's um, oh shit. He's smitten. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Smitten oh, is the my word. My girl listens to this. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> I don't think she's an intellectual man. Every day I get a commercial uh, a from Dr. Fan. Drew saying, this kills your metabolism. This kills your metabolism. This You ever get that commercial? No, but all I know is that he's like, uh, he's the titties, love line. titties does wonders yeah. for my testosterone. <laughs> the, the love line uh, with Adam Carolla. It was uh, him and Adam Carolla for years. Uh, uh, yeah, Poseidon. It's that time. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's do the top five. Fuck, I'm such a hornball. Yes, you are. Is today's top five and a half horny uh, moments? Top five and a half. Oh, that's a good list. Top five and a half horniest moments. All right. Next week. This week's top five and a half comedy movies we watch just because of the actor, actor, actor. Yeah, I don't know if people could do that anymore. Like a comedy movie. Who, who, who would you like today? I don't know. Number five. Bernie Mac, one of the kings of comedy. I have a story about this. Yeah, so, you called him Andre 3000 yeah, earlier. Yeah, I, I, I wanted we to say Mr. 3000. That's yeah. what the movie is, you right? Called, you called him Andre 3000. <laughs> That's he's, funny. Yeah. Uh, isn't Andre 3000 a rapper? Yep. He's, yeah, um, there you go. He's a three hey, stacks. Hey, uh, so one I, of the best. I, when I first watched Mr. 3000, I didn't know who <laughs> Bernie Mac was. But the only, I remember the only reason I watched that movie was because of Bernie Mac on the poster. I didn't even know who he was. But because something about him. You said, I got to watch this movie. I got to watch this movie. This is going to be good. That's it. And it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. Look, uh, because nowadays, you know, you got to scroll through the Netflix uh, posters there. It's It's not like the... I don't know, back in the day, you know, in my day, we used to walk in the video store and look uh. at the poster, it used to attract us. The whole wall of the same movie. And be like, I wonder if that, people still carry a movie, like, well, I'm going to click on this just because that guy's there. So Bernie Mac did that for uh, for you, obviously. Yeah, well, and you didn't know who he was. I didn't know who he was, yeah. but something about... So you're just attracted to older black gentlemen. No, <laughs> it was the, the it factor. Something about his essence. I was like, this guy's funny. Yeah. Oh, funny. Yeah. yeah. Burn him back. He's like, yeah, it's very funny. This guy's funny. We're very funny. Burn, burn him back. Are you still oh, mad burn at burn that? I, he looks funny. I'm scared of y'all. <laughs> he looks funny. He looks big. Yeah. He's uh, funny and long. Funny and long and Are, are you still mad at his friend? So uh, hard. Succulent. <laughs> Oysters. Mm. Are you, are you this still? is the tits and cock Bernie episode. Mac on the yeah, for real. Poster makes me want to watch the movie. Imagine Bernie Mac fucking. That. Okay, I overdid it there. <laughs> that was very awkward. Uh, are, oh, are you I st- could go for a Big Mac right now. <laughs> yeah, Bernie Mac, more like some of that Big, big Mac sauce. More like Big Cock. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that was that was again that went over. <laughs> We almost had the whole Baptist Ministries there going to watch our show Look, now. Gotta, because you said that. <laughs> are you still next mad on at your uh, list. Are, you're, not, you're still mad at uh, Steve Harvey there for what he, if that move? Absolutely. He can yeah. go fuck himself. I'm no longer a fan of Steve Harvey yeah. because of that scummy, that is scummy shit. You do not pull that shit. Yeah. Enemies pull that shit. All right, Cat Williams. Not let's friends. Go. <laughs> Fat Williams. I'm Meow <laughs> Williams. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm. Rar Williams. You're fat I, Cat I, Williams. I agree with this one very much. Yeah, sure. 
Number four, gymnasium carry. <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, uh, I don't know. Lately, right? Every but, time I see Jim Carrey, I'm like, I just just for the expressions and the, fucking, and the craziness. First ten movies this guy did. Mm. Easily, I have, I have to change my opinion on Jim Carrey. Carrey. Um, As of late, I'm yeah, a conspiracy theory. By the way, you're gonna enjoy this. He started becoming really like political. Yeah, and, and, he started painting it, those yeah. I hate Trump paintings. It pissed yeah. me off that he was becoming so hardcore. Yeah, my my personal theory on this. Uh, he was traumatized by his girlfriend's suicide, and that that has nothing nuts. to do with that. I, that, I mean, that's that my personal. Not, I that said, has, I that said, is, I swear to God, Guido, you say so many stupid things. I don't know. Out of all of us, that, which one of us was in a mental institution? No, I, I understand exactly. That's why we can't take you serious. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, that's my excuse. I have a conspiracy theory about Jim right. Carrey. Oh, we're listening, my friend. This one's good. I saw this pop up on my TikTok and I was like, this is, this is great. This mm -hmm. is, this is juice. I had gotten out of conspiracy theories for a while. No, you didn't, but go on. At all. <laughs> well, you know, lightly. It's still one, one toe in, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. You have a whole cock and go on. Hey. You have to your knees. <laughs> <laughs> There's a conspiracy theory that Jim Carrey is playing Joe Biden. All right, next on your list. So Joe Biden is not actually Joe Biden. It's Jim Carrey dressed as Joe Biden. Yeah, no. Uh, next on your list. That's not even. That's not even remotely. I that's... know it's not true, but go down the rabbit. It's so entertaining. There's no rabbit hole. That's... Dude, you gotta watch the videos of these people. They're so I don't have to do shit. Dude, it's it's. They're like, look at the way he moves his hand. Look at the way he salutes. It's like Jim Carrey saluting. You're even doing the voice of the fucking guy on the thing. That's amazing. Dude, it is. Phenomenal. If it is satire, I love these people. I mean, but if it is satire, what, what are you I fucking it, saying? I, I doubt it's satirical. I, I think wow. these people that believe there is a group of people on the internet in the world that breathe the same air as us and drink the same water that believe Joe Biden is being played by Jim Carrey. This is amazing. You can't write this shit, bro. This is amazing. You know what I say to that? All righty then. <laughs> All right, next on the shit list. Number three, Jacqueline Chan. I mean, seriously, now that we say it. Yeah, he's amazing. Absolutely true. Even, okay, comedy, not comedy. You see this guy in the 90s on a box of a fucking video cassette. And you're, you're like, going to rent yeah. it. Yeah. So I already you like, rent I was like, like Bradley Bruce Story. Lee's in this movie. I'm fucking getting it. Yeah, just because of him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to my father and Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, same guy. That's funny. Um, I already liked Jackie Chan, but then when I found out he did his own stunts, I, I liked him, him even more. I thought it was bragging. <laughs> I didn't like how nonchalant he was with his life. Very dangerous. You know, he he kicked his uh, lesbian daughter out of the house, huh? Or some like, shit. Like, like you kicked whatever Maybe you kick picked off your face? Like, uh, yeah, uh, his daughter or his son, like the, uh, the no. son or the daughter decided to join like the LGBT barbecue community? No, his son was nailed for... Pot possession no, in Hong no, no, Kong. No, no, no. no, no the, 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 one of his kids made JC, a video JC that, Chan? that they got kicked out of the will and shit because they, they joined the LG barbecue community. And that uh, uh, he's uh, he's on it because I, yeah. I, I didn't hear about it. I don't that, know how real this is, but I, again, I saw it on the internet, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But um, apparently, his um, uh, he doesn't want any of Hong Kong to watch Rush Hour. He says, uh, they, they, they won't like that. It's shit. Don't watch. Really? Yeah. And, and he made so much money from it. He got an Oscar. He got a... Um, I must have watched, rewatched. I Jack think it was a Rush Hour 2 Jackie that I rewatched. Or Rush Hour 1. Well, I have, well there's one of them that I've watched. Was it the one where Chris Tucker was going nuts and Jackie Chan didn't know what was going on? I've seen that one. <laughs> That's Rush Hour 1. Because they all they're just all met. All but um, he won an Oscar. You know, uh, they give out so many Oscars now that they give them out, like, not at the Oscar ceremony. So he got an uh, uh, achievement Oscar of... Uh, Good for him. Yeah. I like Jackie. Did you find what I was talking about, Pete? Uh, I'm looking now. Uh, I found something that's the opposite, so I'm just... Oh, shit. J J um, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking of working on uh, holding... Uh, uh, um, holding out for a hero, Bonnie Tyler. Such a good song. Yeah, that's what I've been working on now. So if you want to go, uh, you know. where have all the good men gone? And so where she just have came out as gay nine months ago or something. All right. Yeah. Wow, really? I didn't even know he had a daughter. 
And the, apparently, like, he kicked them out or some shit. Hold on. How, he's got to be, what, 70 years old? How old is this guy? He's got to be 70. Anyway, he's up there. 58. Yeah. I like that movie, Shanghai Noon. With him and uh, Owen Wilson, dude, he's done so many movies that they all the all the movies blur together. Did you ever see like a, a stunt of uh, Jackie Chan compilation? It's fucked, man. The guy, really? Like, like the, the one of the ones that makes me puke when I watch it is he he falls through, um, you know, the uh, awnings like the tents oh, they yeah, have yeah, yeah. over stores. Like he falls through three, four of them to the ground. They, the the only thing that stops his fall. Is those uh, no way? But they had something for the movie. No, that's the point. But he didn't like the way he landed, so he did it again. <laughs> Let me do it again. No, the yeah. man's a he's, nut he's, case. A, he's out of his mind. Yeah. God uh, damn. But yeah. a multimillionaire because of it. I'm I'm surprised he's still alive. Uh, not because of uh, you know getting hurt in a stunt, but all the. You know, like a wrestler. You know, all the all the, yeah. all the shit he did to his body. But I'm convinced that if you don't stop. Believe in? Believe in. No, if you don't stop moving or being, because he, he's never really stopped. He still keeps active. Like, he does a lot of shit. Um, like how he's active with his daughter, he is strange. <laughs> yeah. He's active there. No, apparently he has, like, a horse ranch. Like, a horse? Yeah, sorry, uh, a ranch, like, with horses and shit. What do you mean? Like, uh, dressing? No, no, no. Like, uh, the no, not the dressing, bro. You asshole. Uh, no, no, like, uh, he has horses and shit, bro, and he takes care of them. Like, he keeps himself busy. Like, I'm convinced that if you if you stop, you know how some people retire, and then, like, two, year, two years later, they're dead? This is why uh, and, uh, I don't so, like so, he, so, basically, he had a daughter with, like, a beauty pageant winner, like, a side chick while he was married. Oh, That's okay. a daughter. And then Eda, that daughter, came out as gay in 2017 in an Instagram post uh-huh. and said in a YouTube video alongside her now wife, Andy Autumn, which must be a fake name. That doesn't sound Chinese at all. Yeah. Out of uh, wedlock uh, In daughter. April 20th. Okay. Yeah, that she had been shunned by her homophobic parents. Wow. However... She had also said that Jackie Chan's estranged daughter is homeless and it is, uh, that she didn't view him as a father because he wasn't there. That was a side chick that had a baby. So she said uh, he wasn't in my life. So He was a sperm donor. Yeah. So, Hi, I'm Jackie Chan's daughter and this is my girlfriend. Uh, we've been homeless for a month due to homophobic parents. Wow. She said that. But he wasn't with her. You get it? So it's like she was out of his life. But did oh, he, did he take care you get, of? You get what I'm saying? Did he yeah, send yeah, money? So, so let's say right now, like let's say you, 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 let's say right now you, you're out of your son's life for the next 15 years, and and your your girlfriend remarries, and he has a step parents. So you're not there, and then tomorrow we find out the kid's homeless, and they blame you. Like my parents are homophobic. You're like I'm not even there. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, that's, yeah, yeah, he's not yeah, talking yeah. about me. Yeah, yeah. It's very. Um, Oh, so they're just trying to reach for money or whatever the fuck. No, it hasn't. It's just people huh? taking stuff out of context online. That's what they're saying. I, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, Two people uh, in stories. Jack Chan's daughter, whose full name is Era Niga Chokalam. What uh, did you just been, say? <laughs> Niga Chokalam. Yeah, uh, Era Niga Chokalam. Chok, ma uh, Choka. Chok. You know what? I haven't uh, had in has a while been since. dating Canadian social media influencer Andy Autumn since February of 2017. They married a year later. Uh, they have 27,000 followers. Uh, I don't know why that. <laughs> would even make it. That's insane. I haven't had Chinese food. Yeah. Well, now uh, I have a craving. It wasn't <gasps> a, uh, four. I've really been going nuts on that air fryer, bro. Oh yeah. Oh man, I you I, have one. I eat air fryer steak all the time. It's How great. long does it take you to make it? Uh, I don't think I made steak. Next on your fryer. list. Ten. Oh yeah. By the way, so You're these are list. people just just on based on a poster, bro. People would just stop and wreck this. All righty. Number two, my man Eddie Murphy. I mean, so, look, yeah. I heard of uh, Coming to America 2, that it was going to come out. And then I think you guys made me watch Coming to America, the first one. Yeah, okay. But then just because I watched the first one and you I liked Eddie one. Murphy in it, I'm like, I got to watch the second one. It had its moments. It wasn't as good, but it, it, had, yeah, its it had its it, moments. I, I think it came... Another movie late. I watched just because of Eddie Murphy and uh, like, he was like 19 and years Nick, old and Nick Jonas no Nick no jo- Jonah Hill Nick Jonas what Nick the fuck? Jonas he's your favorite Who's, band uh, who the fuck is Nick Jonas you people uh, Eddie Murphy was 19 years old is the rec- yeah, yeah. You, you people that's the movie but then I it was such a shit movie bro. that was a very shit movie yeah. so so I um, watch the rest Nick of it. Nolte from the movie 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy was so smashed. He couldn't host Saturday Night Live. Did you know, my friend? And friends, Eddie Murphy hosted it. 
There's a new Beverly Hills Cop coming out. Oh, I heard are you about kidding this. me, man? I saw the teaser and it I'd made love, me very uh, hard. Uh, it's fantastic. So basically, this man, uh, up until Nutty Professor. Oh my God, Nutty Professor, that was Eddie Murphy? Yeah, are you bro, joking? He, are, are you fucking fu- joking? No fucking man. way, bro. Ah, fuck I, is you, bro. He, does he mean he's joking? Dude, he's I disabled. swear to, No, no, I swear to God, bro. But I was a kid. He thought it was uh, uh, Tracy Morgan? I didn't know who it was. <laughs> Come on. I thought it was just a. In my opinion, he should have won an Oscar for that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pod on the Spectrum. No yeah, way, bro. That was Eddie Murphy. That, wow. He's the king, bro. Wow, that's impressive. The, the only but then again, I was a kid. I was a kid. Bro, that, that whole scene where the whole family is sitting at the table, the only person besides Eddie Murphy there is the kid. Everybody else is him. The uncle, the aunt, the grandmother, the fucking son. What? Yeah, come on. Stop. Ah, uh, he knows that. He plays every person? Don't lie, bro. Uh, he didn't know. I swear to God, I watched this as a kid. He played every person? Bro, I'm going to kill you. Stop. No way. Yeah, he knew that. I, I, I'm... No, I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't know. You uh, can't be no. this stupid, bro. So type in the clumps. Yeah, I'm going to bring Google image the clumps. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, I'm That's his serious. whole thing. That's what's his whole famous thing for. He played every person. Every character. And every he started character. in Coming to America, playing every fucking barber fucking... This is all... No way. I've been fooled. <laughs> you... Uh, uh, fooled I can honestly again. say that you've been bamboozled because you're yeah. a dipshit, man. How Don't, you did not what the fuck know is that? this guy doing, bro? Get the fuck out of here. Uh, it's something about making your eyes... Work. Here, that's Eddie Murphy. That's yeah, Eddie Murphy. Man, no. <laughs> yeah. that's, just the kid is not Eddie Murphy, bro. <laughs> you mess around and miss all the earn his golden years, magic golden years, and you're going to be mad at yourself. Uh, your nephew. Oh, baby's got a little girl. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Here you go. You'll be to cover your plate. Oh, I agree, Mama. Mama, have some water. Yeah, man, what's been on me? Don't tell me I'll cover your plate. So, Poseidon, you thought these were all different people? Yes. Yeah, come on. There's no way this is all Eddie Murphy. But now that, I'm ta- now that you see it, you know it's him. Like, you can see it. He's I still a- can't really see it. They're all him. They're Listen, all Poseidon, him, this whole every black person looks alike thing has to stop. <laughs> bro, did you know he was... Oh, wait, I'm the opposite of that. I think they're all different people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's abs- You know what? He's Which is insane because right. it's all the same person. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's yeah. why. So you it's just one every black yeah. person. It's just, it's just I love how I get Jamie Foxx. Fox and 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 what was the other guy's name? Uh, Michael Jordan. <laughs> no, no, Jamie Foxx and the other black actor, uh, uh, Ray Charles. No, 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 the, the the one in Fast and Furious movies. Vin Diesel. No, fuck out of here. Ludicrous. No, the other one, Tyler Perry. Yeah, I get those two confused. What? But this to me, it's all different people. It's so weird. <laughs> this is He's confused. This, you hear? This is the best level of racism. Actually, I appreciate it. This is. Oh, yeah. There's no way this is all Eddie Murphy. Hold on, let's observe the nose. Bro, it's, no, it's, it's all Eddie Murphy. You don't have to observe it. We know this, dude. This this the, wasn't wow, a secret. Wow, that's all Eddie. Mur- Honestly, he should have been nominated for an Oscar for this shit. That is a talented man. Because you know what? When I was a kid, he fooled me. Bro, do you understand Eddie Murphy? He fooled me now. In Vampire, you can't get fooled again. In in Vampire <laughs> in Brooklyn, he plays a guy named Guido. No way. This is impressive. You ever see him as He's Guido uh, in Vampire in Brooklyn? Wow. I've seen him as Guidette. He, he plays Guido in Vampire. He plays the Italian guy in Vampire in Brooklyn. I can't believe I didn't know that was all Eddie uh, Murphy. Come on. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not even joking, dude. Uh, like, I know you. I, we'd love to fuck around, bro, but I, I didn't even know. First of all, I didn't even know he was the Nutty Professor. So that was news to me today. That was Jerry Lewis, and that was him. I just I remember watching the Nutty Professor as a kid. I mean, like, hey, this is a funny Remember movie. Dave Chappelle as an extra in that? Uh, in the comedy club? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know okay. how that, that uh, idea came in my head. That's crazy. Number one, uh, what idea? actor go. that you... Uh, we were still on the list here, bro. You hear this fucking music. It's an hour. It's playing. Yeah, let's oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the list. Dave Chappelle. Dave yeah, Chappelle. he's a comedian. Oh, yeah. Who's Dave true. Chappelle? Sorry, said, sorry. Bro. I forgot. Bro, I'm bad with names. You're, you're bad with yeah, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Number Chan. one, Robin, one of the goats, Williams. Hey. Yeah, uh, there, there was a time... I remember uh, what was the first Robin Williams movie I watched. I think it was either the one where the hospital with the kids, where he, he's a clown. And does Patch a Adams. I think so. And Funny how. No, <laughs> there was that one, and then there was uh, fuck. What was the other one? I think it was uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Right. Doubtfire yeah. was big for me. Yeah. That I knew it was Robin Williams. It was a. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. They showed him changing. <laughs> it was a run by fruiting. <laughs> Look, look, the boner was still awkward, but I knew it was him. <laughs> Who did this to you? Uncle Frank and Aunt Jack. 
Uh, good, good lines. Shit. Uh, you know, <laughs> um, but then when, once he started with the, uh, like, I don't know, the, there was a time, like, there's a, there's a, 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 a hot, like a, a, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, a, a level where the, everybody goes to see their movie, but then after a while, you know, Bicentennial Man and all these other movies he was making, there, there was a, a hot streak. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, he probably peaked at around, uh. Best movie, Robin Williams, The Fisher King. Highly recommended. Very good. No, I look, kind of looks like one of my aunts. He was supposed to do a part two, but then, uh, you know, he died. Now the bonus no, is even well, weirder. he died fucking he, so much longer after that, bro. No, no, no. He, he was in, like, uh, it, it, before he croaked, he was on that TV show that got canceled. Uh, the Funnies, the whatevers. The, he was a sad With Jenny death. McCarthy. Uh, he was on a TV show. He was very depressed that it didn't come out. You you want to see something pathetic, don't do it. Don't put it now. But watch uh, Robin Williams' last appearance uh, on, uh, like he was on uh, with Matt Damon there on Jimmy yeah. Kimmel. Uh, it was not well. He was not happy. Oof. He was pretending to be happy. Anyway, but uh, yeah, funny guy. Uh, we would go watch just because of this fucking guy's face on a... On mm. a, on a Hey, you know, Bad was one, like that. One of the greatest. A lot of, a lot of people like that in the comedy... Um, What's your half? And the half... Uh, You're going to appreciate this one. Hilarious. So. This week's half, Steven Siegel. You know, that's probably his real last name, Siegel. And and uh, he just... Made, yeah. I didn't. I never realized how preposterous his movies were until I was an adult. Until I told you about it, we did movie nights, yeah. and then you were like, "No, he's an action star," and I was like, "No, he's a joke." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because when you're a kid, everything looks cool. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he's got that, yeah. five movies that are even half worth it. The rest are all garbage. Yeah. His first five movies, and that was Under it. Siege. Yeah, Under that was like that was it. It peaked there. Under Siege. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> episode one? By the way, somebody. Uh, Wrote something about me reminding them of your father. So, oh, I yeah, have, you, you, I have, what, 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 you're, one infl- you're one inflatable couch away from being his dad. <laughs> Somebody said that I gotta buy inflatable couches because I'm your dad. Poseidon, the, they're not far off. They're not far off. I'm telling you, the last time you had, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, the last time you had, dude, very, very similar, <laughs> very close generation, too. Y- yep, um, it's funny because I'm supposed to go to Long Island. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. You're gonna be living in an attic, <laughs> giving a girl a Hummer. What? What? Doesn't he drive one? Uh, allegedly. Um. What was I gonna say? Fuck. Oh, the the uh, but the, the the Steven Seagal movie that has pissed me off the most to this the, day. It's the bullet. Huh? It's the one that he did with DMX, bro. It's the bullet. Exit. Wounds. Exit wound. Exit wound. There it's you the go. bullet scene. Eh? It's the scene where you're supposed to get shot in the head and he dodges. It's the, the bullet. bullet. Just How saying. Do you yeah, it's the Superman bullet, bro. cannot do that. Bro, I, when I saw this, I got so angry. <laughs> Is this it? I got <laughs> so fucking angry when they're holding the gun. No, no. Look how ridiculous. Look at this fucking ass. It looks like he's playing airsoft, bro. <laughs> Look at look at his fucking dumb face, bro. In his first, in his first movie, he was going bald. He has more. Look at this stupid. Look at it. He's from Michigan. Here, look, that's his first movie. That's. His... He looked good there, though. That was his first movie. Above the law. Yeah, yeah no, no one's gonna be notice me. Anybody here see Richie? <laughs> Anybody know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah, I remember that one. That was Hard Target. Who produced these? Uh, 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 um, Wasn't like the bullet Jules Nasso, the guy that I uh, love with how the mob. His, I love how his hairline. Yeah, yeah, it's sprayed on and, and glued on. Now, went yeah. forward. <laughs> yeah, he has a widow's peak now, like Dracula. Um, He's like. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. He had a TV show where he was a cop. He, he's legit a cop, right? Uh, <laughs> no, you think I'm kidding, but he's registered. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's Tom Berenger there. Uh, what the fuck movie is this? Anyway, what he, is that? He lives in um, in Russia and he's buddies with uh, uh, Vladimir there. So he does live in Russia now full time. Huh? Yeah, I don't he's think a, he's a full time Russian. Uh, Steven Seagal. I don't think he's even holding that sniper properly. <laughs> so we, th- what does he do in Russia now? Uh, can he, you? He gets, oh, I think he has a dojo or a. Can you please? 
He's films. Mo- look, a lot of movies get washed. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> a lot of movies get, get washed. Uh, washed over there, right? So he does that. Like it, it's at the point where he just sits down during the action sequence. Bro, this, scene. this not- pissed me the fuck off. But For, pause, pause. Can we just? What, what just can happened? We, can but, we analyze? Can we analyze what just you, happened? Tell okay. Me. So, so he's sniping. First of all, I don't even think he's he's supposed to be in like a prone position. Anyway, I don't think because yeah. this is when you go to the range. I think you sit like yeah. that. That's for anyways. No, but I'm not an expert. I will say I'm not a gun expert. I'm not any better. So you know what? If, fuck the, that if shit. the gun wasn't there, he's taking a nap. I get what you mean. What yeah, What yeah. pisses me the fuck off about this scene is um, he's trying to shoot a bad guy, right? And he misses so perfectly that he hits the 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 the, the drink the, canister, the there. canister, and a bullet from a sniper. First of all, that would have disintegrated his hand, the guy. Probably. That's the, the first shrapnel thing. from the that's the, the that's flask the first, yeah. would have killed him. That's probably. That's the first thing. Yeah. Let's just address that. Yeah. First. Second, in the movie, it doesn't make any sense. The guy gets he gets the thing shot, and then he just stands there. Huh? Huh? I wonder where that came from. Well, he was an A-Ram. Who the Richard. fuck? No, but <laughs> who the <laughs> fuck just I I just bro, you're drinking and it got shot. And you're what? somehow alive, and you're just gonna stand there you, like a retard. Um, why are way, you shocked at the uh, uh, Steven Seagal, like the uh, the logic? I'm of not Steven shocked. Seagal. It just enrages me. Oh. So, do you remember? Uh, I don't know if we talked about the intellectuals, or we just talked about it off air. There was a a woman who was on the beach, and the what cops the were called because she was masturbating, and she was like, "I wasn't masturbating." Oh, I heard they, about this. And then they found it in fantastic. her bag. Uh, so he, here's the thing about like, what did they find in her bag? Cultura today. This this is this is what bugs me. Let's bring this. All right, so this is what it was. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure you don't want to watch more Steven Seagal? So, look. Uh, <laughs> Just the exit wound scene. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, All essentially, the... so you see that woman there? She's like, who called you? She was alone in the water, and she was fingering herself, I guess. But she wasn't doing it in front of people. People saw her from a distance, but she wasn't showing off to people. She, she thought she, she was alone, okay? Okay. So, she's like, no, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. They're like, yeah, the fuck you were. Yes, yes. So, uh, she got in trouble, okay? So, they think maybe she was like... Going to OnlyFans or something live or something? No, they don't think. Fuck, man. You and him have the same fucking problem. You're just making shit up. All right. no, no one said that. What okay. I'm saying is you're not allowed to masturbate in public, dude. How did they know she was doing it? People called and complained. So she was masturbating in public. But look at this. This. Then they released this fucking footage, bro. That's, that's not true. Why would they call it? Nobody, nobody was around. It was it an anonymous call? I feel terrible. Is this one of my buddies? Okay, yeah. one of my buddies. No, it's, it's not. She thinks it's a prank. It's, it's a family. Okay, look, let me sh- n- uh, let me show you what I did. Okay. Okay. Is there anything I'm- in the bag? But that's none of your business, bro. No. Is it right if I look through? I mean, no, it's not right. Can I see the contents inside the bag? Yes. Okay. Don't show him your I bag. I don't really understand what y'all. Are. They're not allowed, though. <sighs> the phone called and it's the states. Yes. Very concerned. Okay. This is really highly offensive to me. I got it. And that's why I'm trying to figure it's it okay. out. It's my yeah. vibrator, but I just put it in my... I was sitting on the beach. And wow. I, just, I feel so bad for her. Did yeah. I get a ticket? <laughs> but I mean... So, you, you did have a vibrator. I, listen, I was oh on the water like this, and I just put it in there, and I, I kept it up, and I just had an orgasm. I'm sorry. I was stressed out. I, I Is that you. She was in the water? Hang tight for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I okay. feel so bad for this girl. You think you're gonna about you're gonna about to feel worse? I mean, if nobody saw them, they wouldn't have called, right? Oh my God! Is this the Carolinas? Where is this? Georgia. I just made that up. A family saw it. They had kids. There was nobody around me. Oh my. So uh, whoever narked on her, whoever called the cops, uh, yeah. anyways, narked on her or whatever. So, uh, anyways, this woman uh, eight months later uh, is now dead. No! What? Why? Oh, she killed herself? Oh, I'm so no way. Bad. That's so. <gasps> s- I thought this was gonna be funny, man. That's so sad. Fuck. Fuck. That sucks. And that's a very embarrassing thing to. I don't know why they had to release this footage. <gasps> Uh, but I, uh, but her na- the neighbors are saying uh, that they think it was the boyfriend that killed her. But either way, she's dead. And that's the last thing that people are going to remember about her. Damn. <sighs> she was young, too. She's yeah, she was a young, hot chick. Oh. Uh, that's what that's what <sighs> sucks about this whole v- voyeurism culture. The internet, like, I gotcha. I got I to gotta ruin your life. Look, look, look. I ruined someone else's life. It's a, it's a terrible... Um, 
It's a terrible trend. It's a God terrible damn. way that we've we 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 lost our humanity along the way. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah, it's not good. It's embarrassing. That's, that's why. But I, can why. I address? I, I I do find it weird that she was masturbating. Like, of course, me too. I, in public, but, but but I don't feel like, especially wait, 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 since wait, wait, it wasn't think, in public. No, no. But here's the thing: it was at a public place, but it wasn't in. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, she thought she was alone in the water, discreet, and someone right, was watching her right. from a distance. Just that should have been. Maybe we should I didn't question the guy people watching. Were watching. But that's what as I'm well, saying. Because yeah. well. if she was doing it so you can see look. them, if she's doing it in front of kids, you understand? Uh, yeah, it no, adds look. a layer to it. I'm you not, say, I'm you not shouldn't, sure you shouldn't do people, it at the beach at really all. She really thought yeah. she was alone. Because the public place. As far as I'm concerned, it's the same thing as doing it at a public park. It's crazy. Look, I will However, say, if there's no one there and someone from the balcony is, is, is scoping you with a camera, yeah. and then that person calls the cops and says, I'm offended because I have kids in my house and this person was outside my house. Okay, I understand why you're offended. But she wasn't doing it in front of your kids. She thought she was alone. It's not the place to do it. It's like if you piss, I'll give you an example. If you piss on the wall outside, right? Yeah. It, you do it in the summer. It happens. You gotta take a piss. You know how many people I see pissing on the wall in the in the lane on, it, on my balcony yeah. when I smoke? Hold on, but you know you get arrested for I that. See. Yeah, I know. You can. In but, decent exposure. But, if you, right. And if you're peeing at a kid's park, I scare them. I yell. I go. Right. Absolutely. If you're right. peeing yeah. at a kid's park yeah. at midnight. You can get oh in all God. kinds of trouble. I've peed at kids' parks. Yeah, it's because still, it's, it's a kid's. It's uh, still a kid's yeah. park. You're, you're was I a kid or was I an you're adult? A sexual predator. But oh my I, God, I'm just how saying. How old was I? I probably shouldn't I, I say don't that. Think, I don't think something. I don't think something like that should have been like the video should not have been made public. Is what I think. Look, here's That's the police thing. Police business. She's not right. No, but it shouldn't have been. Pu- but whatever, it should have been. She's yeah. dead. You know, for yeah. her. Ah, that sucks. Fuck. Uh, that's terrible. It is weird that she would choose to masturbate. I swear to God, women There's have... There's nothing the, weird about it, Look, man. women have... She, just had no, no. she said it herself. Women I have... Just, women have... Let's address this. Women have the weirdest times. You'll be in a drive through and they want to suck your dick at the drive through Like, it's the weirdest shit, bro. Like, uh, it, they have weird moments, you know, of when they get horny. We will address this. I've uh, um, never um, been offered a blowjob in the drive through <laughs> You mean from the employees? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Poseidon meant like he's driving and the chick is next to him and she wants to blow him. Yeah, like a weir- oh. weird inconvenient moments. Like yeah, it's it wasn't like an add-on to his order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it's a, you know, like, and, and there's there's memes about it. There's there's uh, stories about it, you know. I don't know. It's weird, man. It's weird. Because I, I, she, it, I don't think she should be jerking off public places. What I'm saying is. The, so so right now they protect people. I think she's in the wrong for that. So uh, she's in the wrong for that. Dude, but not, look, look, I'll give you an example. She's dead. She's yeah, not she's wrong being, about nothing. She's being publicly shamed. She okay. wasn't. Hitler, Hitler, Hitler died he, he, too. He, doesn't he, mean. Here's my problem with society. People forget and well, they don't give a fuck when it's like big politicians and stuff. We cover everything up. Yeah. And it's real shit. Like look at Epstein's Island, yeah. right? They did yeah. everything, everything they no could list. to no, not release matter. the full yeah. list, yeah. to tell people warn them a month in advance, keep people on as John Doe to protect their privacy. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. You know, even though they went there to ban kids, this uh, poor anonymous and underage, girl was now made famous. But that's what I'm saying. So the the, the barometer is fucking strange. Like the the the, the scales are not the same for Double everyone. Double standard hypocrisy. So I, when I saw it, I felt like it was like it's embarrassing, but it doesn't need. I don't know why you had to publicly show her face. Yeah. Did she have her bathing suit on while she was coming and masturbating? Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? How could you tell she was coming in the water? I don't think I'd be. I think someone is drowning. Whoever you really, really see what's happening. Whoever you know what's really stop, stop observed like her really looked closely. Yeah, because she was trying to hide then it. Then called. He probably that's came. The dirty like, part. Terrible. Yeah, that's that. That's the sick part. He's like, oh yeah. Yeah, someone zoomed in. Yeah, I could have. I could. I would have walked by that. I wouldn't have noticed. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. I, she, yeah. Yeah. Whoever complained. Is the sick fuck. Look, I had an orgasm. She said that though, I died of laughing. Look, I may have had an orgasm, however. That is funny. And that's why it was so. If you would have stopped the video there, I'd have laughed and loved this girl forever. Unless she was hurling, like like yelling, like coming, like, you know. She was only 36. Ah. Damn. That sucks. Look, the footage being released, 100% wrong on on, uh, the cops. What do you think about. I feel bad. I feel bad. I was going to ask you about the the other famous uh, masturbator, uh, Madonna. She uh, made everybody wait uh, an hour for her show and everybody complained because we're Canadian, I guess. I don't know. She got fined. She had to be out of the Bell Center by 11 p.m. And she got fined how much? I don't know. She's rich. I don't think she gives a fuck. Yeah, she didn't give a shit. I think she was out of it. That's why she was an hour late to be on stage. It's like That sucks, bro. Being Madonna? Yeah. Nah. Well, that too actually does kind of <laughs> suck. Have you seen her lately? Damn. Ah, she's fine. <clears throat> um, Madonna's all right. God bless. God bless Madonna. 
Woman uh, arrested for using bi vibrator on Georgia Beach committed suicide eight months later after downward spiral. You yeah. said Georgia by a joke, and it was oh, Georgia. Oh, wow. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I said Georgia earlier. Oh, I didn't even like three I don't times. think I heard it. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. The, the episode cannot end like this. It has to be. All right, you guys want to jerk off? Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> can we watch the exit wound? A headshot scene, please, because it's gonna. I Are think, you sure it was exit wounds? I think it was exit exit wound. Was it with DMX? D DMX did exit wounds, but I don't know if he only did. It was one. exit wound. It was exit. I remember exit wounds. Yeah. Uh, with, what's okay? Uh, headshot exit. I'm wounds? I'm surprised IMDb has 5.6 out of 10. It was uh, with the Asian gangsters that thought they were black. Uh, uh, there's a scene that basically I, I, I don't remember. I think it was going to his car, and they were sitting on his car. And he's like, "Get the fuck out of my car!" Yeah, yeah. Of my car. And I'm like, "Get the fuck out of here, old man!" I got it. They were talking like they were black and shit, and then uh, and then he beat the shit out of them. And then as he's beating the shit out of them, yeah, yeah, keep talking. One of them points a gun to his head and pulls the trigger, and he and he, he dodged. He the dodges bullet. the bullet. Here we go. All right. Yeah, these guys. So there's Tom Arnold. These aren't uh, even gangsters. Who is this nerd? That's Tom that's Arnold, Tom Arnold. Uh, uh, Mr. Roseanne Barr. Date with no! Well, shit! <laughs> Come on! All right, all right. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Sir, stay the hell out of our class. We've got people in there with real problems. Okay, FY, next week I'm doing a show on violent twins. If you want to I, Tom Arnold's a fucking douche. Oh, this is Toronto. Frankie, take the man's cheese. Oh, bro. Aikido. <laughs> Yo, Asian crime is on the rise. Where's the where's the you we the, now watch You ate this shit up, huh, when you were young? A dominant you like I didn't watch this as a we, kid. We actually. watch a dominant no? white take out the <laughs> Asians. <gasps> oh but no. But wait, where's the where's the gun where they fire? Right oh, there now. it is. <laughs> <laughs> he he just dodged the bullet. He just mother that's he just dodged. Not possible. He just dodged. Okay, hold on, Poseidon. You know what I don't like about what you're saying. This is what I don't like about you saying. At close range. You know what I don't like about what Poseidon's saying. He's screaming. It's not possible. When I just saw it, <laughs> be possible. It's more than possible. <laughs> it's just happening. It. Yeah, right in front of us, but, bro. But but but. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Superman can't look. do that. Look, look. Oh my God, that's how fast bro, he is. Bro, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you're mad at. Look, look, look. Boom. <laughs> Look no, at no, this he moved. Bullshit. He moved right before the trigger pull. <laughs> look at that! No, it's fired! Look, look, <laughs> look, bro! Look, I'm. He <laughs> after. He. That's not possible. And he gave him. He gave him a nice karate chop. Look, look, look at that! <laughs> look at this bullshit, bro! Oh, how does he get down and up at the same time? Yeah. Look, he's down and then he gets back up. He did. The, the, he's he's on a pulley or something, isn't he? On a, a wire. He dodged up. And it was a strong kick. Look, bro. Uh, <laughs> A human being cannot do that. That's <laughs> that's, that's the ghetto blaster wait, wait, by Bang no, 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 no. Boom! He moved back. It's such right the bull, the, like. You're just a hater. Look at that! <laughs> he fired before he moved his head. That You're is the greatest. He dodged the bullet. Bro, You're that is the greatest Steven Seagal move I've ever seen. <laughs> of everything he's ever done. The greatest Steven Seagal move was convincing you all he's an actor. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> That was great. He dodged a bullet, bro. That's great. At point blank, bro. Well, how else was he going to dodge it? Like a man. You know what else is blank? Bro, when I... You don't... This is... My reaction now is nothing. When I watched this, I think I was in my living room. I think I still lived alone. Thank God. <laughs> I think I got up and yelled at the TV, bro. <laughs> I Why was so are you angry. doing this to me? I was so angry. I was like, bro, I got up and started insulting the TV. Bro. <laughs> I can do barely dodge that? diabetes. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? I stood up and started sacrilege started coming out of my mouth. He Listen was, here. <laughs> <laughs> he was married to Kelly LeBrock at one point. She was a knockout. Um, hmm. He should have been married to LeBrock Lesnar. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I watched the rest of the movie. Because I was watching to get more mad Bro, to I see if there was any it. other moments like that. I, I, and then, I, I want to watch this now. And then when you saw a successful black man, you were like, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? <laughs> we got to do a list of the best Steven Seagal movies. Ah, dude, they're some... all tied. No, I, I, I like the, there's the one with the, the, the Caribbean there with the, the reggae ones, the uh, Marked for Death. The I don't Heart even to want kill. to watch Under Siege because like, I remember it as like a good action movie in my head. Best part of Under Siege was Tommy Lee Jones. Best part of Under Siege was the ebony porn right after it ended. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> on the cassette that your dad uh, took back to uh, Long Island. Ah, man's out here dodging 
point blank bullets to the head. I've bro. never seen that. And, and, you're, and, and you're talking shit about him. That's crazy, bro. That's fast. That's he's just very fast. He's lightning fast. Anywho, <laughs> intellectuals out. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs>